There is so much wrong in this clip. Sheila Jackson Lee should be sued for political malpractice. Who would even think that you could tamper with the Second Amendment? It's in the Bill of Rights. But we do believe that when you have this weapon being created to be the kind of dangerous, lethal weapon to kill, Americans will stand up and say, it's not about the Second Amendment, it's about saving lives. Eight children a day die from gun violence. In addition, 40,000 Americans die from gun violence throughout the year. We love and respect and admire our veterans. But at the same time, we respect our first responders who say that we don't need automatic weapons in the hands of civilians. There's no hunting purpose. There's no purpose. You can buy the brace without a background check. But when it becomes a dangerous weapon, when that brace changes the gun's legal status and makes it, in essence, the same that caused a mass shooting at a Boulder, Colorado supermarket, the stabilizing brace made and a shorter barrel made a pistol under federal gun regulations. Saving lives is why I'm standing here on the floor. But a brace can be bought without a background check. Might I say that there are veterans in the ATF. This provision specifically is to deal with when you make it a lethal weapon to be used like an assault weapon to kill people. That's what the ATF is against. Eight children dying every day and 40,000 Americans dying throughout the year through gun violence. Not your second amendment. And let me let you hear from the person who actually designed it. It was the creator of the SB Tactical Stabilizing Brace who acknowledged in a 2017 interview with the editor of the Firearm Blog that many who brought the braces did so to avoid the National Firearms Registration. They were going to do bad. Not those good veterans. This is not an injury to our veterans. It is saving lives. Who would stand up here against a veteran? The Nobody. But I am going to stand up here against the killing expired. of children. First of all, this raggedy Michaels poster board is wrong. It says it's stabilizing brace and short barrels make it a pistol under federal gun regulations. The brace doesn't make it a pistol because it's already a pistol. That's why it's called a pistol stabilizing brace. It helps stabilize what's already a pistol. Eight children dying from gun violence every day is also wrong. The number is actually 7.81. But even that's wrong because that number is from a CDC database about justified and unjustified homicides and includes 18 and 19 year olds, which are not children. Those are adults. She's also wrong about the gun. They're not there to talk about automatic guns. They're there to talk about pistol braces on semi-automatic guns. Who's putting pistol braces on fully automatic guns that are essentially already banned? The level of Goofy in this video is purely astounding. She didn't take the time to actually read the poster board before bringing it out. You can tell she's reading it for the very first time and barely understands what it's trying to say because even the poster board is wrong. Why are we letting people like this dictate what we use to protect our families? Sheila Jackson Lee is a rich political elite. Sheila Jackson Lee represents the 18th Congressional District of Texas, which includes most of Houston's inner cities and has done so for eons and nothing has changed. All she does is grandstand and bird brain babble stupidity like this. I've held an AR-15 in my hand, I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. Uh, and the bullet that is utilized, a 50 caliber, these kinds of bullets, uh, need to be licensed and do not need to be on the street. When it comes to firearms and the Second Amendment, Sheila Jackson Lee is a cacophony of idiocy and shouldn't be taken seriously. Unfortunately, people do take her seriously, so I must expose the idiocy time and time and time again until the people who keep voting for her realize it. So, if you're watching this video and you know people who need to hear this message, Share this video with as many of those people who you think need to hear it. Because until people start waking up, our two-way rights will continue to degrade until there's nothing left. But before you do that, make sure you check out my YouTube membership. YouTube membership is a way for you to support what we do here on this channel for the Second Amendment. There are three groups, the Pupu Life, the Militia, and the Amosexuals. Each group has its own unique benefits and perks. However, unofficially, 
I'll frequently be doing sponsored giveaways for my members. Last week I gave away $700 worth of Surefire lights and I just got another box of sponsored Surefire lights that I'll be giving away next week. So if you want to learn more about YouTube memberships, I put a link in the description section. And for all of my fathers out there, it's time to take charge of your happiness this Father's Day and tell your family what you want instead of waiting on them to get you some stupid, ugly looking tie that they always get you. Tell them to go to shop.mrcoleonaward.com and get you something from the 2A Dad and Dad Girl line of shirts, hats, and drinkware that we just released. You deserve nothing less for Father's Day. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.